Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 9 raised to the power x equals to log 60 on this side. The next step here, we apply the power law of log n. When we have log m raised to the power p, it's the same thing as p log m. That is here, what we have becomes x log 9 equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 9. That is, divide this side by log 9. Also, divide this side by log 9, which implies here log 9 cancel with each other. We have x equals to log 60 over log 9 that is here yeah, 60 same thing as 3 times 20 that is what we have becomes x equals to log 3 times 20 over log 9 and here this follows log log when we have log a times b same thing as log a plus log b. That is all we have here becomes x equals to log 3 plus log 20 over log 9. Then we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 20 over log 9 and also here 20 can be expressed as 4 times 5 which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 times 5 over log 9. Watch this video to the end. Give it a thumbs up, put your comment, and share this video. Next step here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b, that is, we can write this and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 plus log 5 over log 9. That is here. Also, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 3 over log 9 plus log 4 over log 9 plus log 5 over log 9. Then, yeah, we can rewrite 9 as 3 times 3, that's 3 squared. And also 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to log 3 over log 3 squared plus log 2 squared over log 3 squared plus log 5 over log 3 squared. Then here yeah, we apply the power law of log 2 comes there, 2 comes there also from here, also 2 comes there. And we have x equals to log 3 over 2 log 3 plus 2 log 2 over 2 log 3 plus log 5 over 2 log 3. That is, yeah, log 3 cancel each other. We have 1 over 2 left. That is, x equals to 1 over 2 plus, yeah, 2 cancel each other. And we have log 
2 over log 3 then plus here we have 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 3 and when we apply change of base here and when we have log a over log b which is same thing as log a to base b then what we have becomes x equals to 1 over 2 plus log 2 base 3 then plus also 1 over 2 then log 5 base 3 then here we can bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the SCM here is 2. Here we have 1. Then plus here becomes 2 log 2 base 3. Then plus here we still have log 5 base 3. That is the value of x here we have 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2. That is, what we have here becomes 9 raised to power 1 plus. 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then here we can write 9 as 3 squared which is raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here, 2 cancelled each other. And we have 3 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? When we apply a lot of indices, when we have a raised to the power n plus n, which is the same thing as a raised to the power n times a raised to the power n. Then here yeah, we have 3 raised to the power 1 times 3 raised to the power log 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 then times 3 raised to the power log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side and 3 raised to the power 1 gives us 3 then times here yeah, we reverse this 2 from power log and we have 3 raised to the power log 2 squared base 3 times 3 raised to the power log 5 Base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side? Then here we have 3 times 3 raised to the power log 2 square here, that's 4, then base 3, then 3 raised to the power log 5, base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side? Then this follows the law of log When well, we have a raised to the power log b to base a, the same thing as b. Uh, this here we have 4, here we have 5, 3 times 4 times 5 is equals to 60 on this side. And 3 times 4, that's 12. 12 times 5, that's 60, which is equals to 60 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the notification bell on. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.